it's it's actually part of what happened, what started 15 years ago. Uh, the European Union realized that we had a problem with uh, providing uh, EU with uh, minerals, metals and minerals. So they started off a raw materials initiative. The Swedish government set aside a fair amount of money for the survey to do uh, more on mineral resources. The drill pore scanning project is a result of that. This archive contains more than 3 million meters of drill core from more than 18,000 boreholes, some of them almost 100 years old. The Geological Survey of Sweden made a decision to digitize a part of this drill core archive and publish the results for free on the internet. When we started out, the geological survey looked around broadly what was available on the market. We wanted a methodology that had been used before, that was uh, already established, produced as much data as possible, as quickly as possible for the money we had, and uh, the result was hyperspectral imaging. This is Pekim's Sisurok hyperspectral core logging workstation. It contains three cameras for imaging the core. Speckim's Phoenix hyperspectral camera, Speckim's Owl hyperspectral camera, and a high-resolution RGB camera. The Sisurok measures infrared light reflected from the surface of the drill core. The shape of the spectrum of the reflected light, the absorption in the spectrum, tells us which mineral the light was reflected from, so it tells us which minerals are in the rock. If we would have done this using uh, traditional core logging, it would have taken us far, far, far too long. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how long it would have taken us, but uh, we simply would never have done that. It, it wouldn't have produced what we were looking for. The Sisu rock can maintain a scanning speed of more than 200 boxes in an eight-hour shift, meaning more than 2,000 meters of drill core. With the Sisu rock, you can find minerals not visible by the naked eye because they have a very small grain size, for example. You can also see and detect small gradual changes in mineral composition and mixing of several minerals. You can define ore boundaries more accurately and make new interpretations of the origin of the formation. We have already seen that there, is, there are examples where there's a clear mismatch with what the hyperspectral imaging data says and what the geologist uh, on site had uh, logged. And that is extremely interesting. Uh, objective for the geological survey now is to make sure that it's uh, available for exploration companies, mining companies, universities, anyone interested. The information in the data is probably going to lead to a mine. I, I would hope so, I think so. We've seen some pretty interesting stuff already. In my view, the most valuable properties that this workstation used to Sisu Rock uh, is that it's the reliability and speed. It's a very good combination when you have both 